We knew this day was going to come. We knew it. We all knew it. I was really banking on this movie to be the best video games movie. I was really, I was legitimately thinking it was going to be. Let's just get into it. Mortal Kombat 2021. Before we start, I know my fair share amount of Mortal Kombat. Okay, I know some of the lore. Okay, to prove it, I played Mortal Kombat versus DCU. So, hey. I know my stuff. I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat shell, but I know my stuff. But, this movie isn't that bad. I keep telling myself that. This movie isn't that bad. I had, I had some enjoyment in it, okay? I had some enjoyment. This movie gets some of the core ideas of Mortal Kombat. It's not like, there's a little, there's a little asterisk whenever I say anything about this movie. So I'm just gonna get straight into the good stuff. Let's, 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 let's just talk about the good stuff. The good stuff, the fights are great. Fights are really good in this movie. Like, I really dug the fights in this movie. Um, it gets, the one of the core ideas it gets is like, it has fatalities, flawless victories. It has all the brutalness of Mortal Kombat, which I have to give the movie credit. If it didn't have that, this movie would be dog shit. So, it has those. Very happy with that. Movie looks fine. Costumes were good. I'll give it that. Costumes were good. Acting was... They were fine. Yeah, there, there's some good acting in this. There's also some bad acting in this. It's it's a it, it, it's a it's a it's a well balanced mixed. The writing is really bad. The writing's really, really bad. Writing is some of the some of the worst I've seen. This movie kind of sets up as like a prequel or like a or like a kickoff for the for a Mortal Kombat franchise. And I want to see more of this universe. I really do, because it's much better than the past two Mortal Kombat movies and the Mortal Kombat series on YouTube or whatever. So I, I want to see more of this universe. I think I think it's a good kickoff. I just wish the movie was better and I wished I care about any of the characters. Let's start off with Cole. Cole is a new character. Cole is, they, Cole is set as the audience surrogate to this Mortal Kombat universe for people to understand. You know, you're supposed to, you know, it's for, for the audience. But so is every other character in this movie, apparently. You see what I mean? So Cole doesn't really have that much of a purpose if all these other characters are also an audience surrogate. And I guess my next thing, I don't care about Cole. I don't care about Cole whatsoever. I couldn't give a shit about Cole. If he died, I wouldn't really care that much. Cole doesn't really have much motivation except for his daughter and his wife. It's fine motivation if it conveyed it well, and they didn't really convey it well, in my opinion. And I and I really hate dogging on this movie because it's all you can tell. There's some there's a lot of love being put into this. Uh, the actor for Cole is a huge Mortal Kombat fan, and he wants to do service and do and do justice for the series. It really hurts my feelings to really dig this movie into the ground. I really wanted to like this, and it's. I kind of did a little bit. There's something wrong with me because a part of me really kind of liked this. Not really, but there's a part of me that kind of liked this movie. But there's a part of me, and there's a bigger part of me that's like, no, oh, it's not that good. Stop holding on. Sub Zero and Scorpion are the standouts, by the way. Sub Zero and Scorpion are fantastic in this movie. They're they're not in a ton, but they're 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 pretty great. I I genuinely really enjoyed seeing them on screen. All right, okay now. A lot of people are loving Kano. That's great. I thought Kano was the only person that really gave a lot of life to this movie. But the thing is, it gets very annoying after like five minutes. Kano is like the stereotypical Australian that says the F word every sentence. And he's always just crapping about on everyone. I got old pretty fast. But still, I thought the, act the actor did a great job. I think it's just the writing for me. This. This really isn't that much of a spoiler, but this is basically setting up the tournament. So it's like, why call it Mortal Kombat if you don't have the tournament? The tournament is the main focus of Mortal Kombat. So I don't understand why you don't... A lot of the giant Mortal Kombat nerds are like furious over this movie, and I see why. But as someone who like understands Mortal Kombat, but not like a huge shill about it, I just thought it just could have done a lot better. I still want to see what else they're going to do with this. If it does, make it to a sequel. Let's just get into spoilers. Alright, I'm going to give this movie... I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. Based on... It gets those points because 
costumes were good. They look great. Uh, the fights were fantastic. They get a point for the brutalness of Mortal Kombat, and they get another point because I had a little fun with it. I did. I had fun with it. That's 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 the least I can say. All right, let's get into spoilers. There's not much to really spoil it. There's not really much to, to talk about in spoilers, but let's just... There's not really much to talk about in spoilers if I'm really thinking about it, because this movie doesn't have too much going on, so to say. I did not care for Cole. I thought Jax was pretty all right. I thought Sonya Blade was all right. I really liked um, Kung Lao. Really liked Kung Lao. I like Shang Tsung. I like Raiden. Yeah, I, I thought the characterizations were pretty good. Cole finds his inner calling, whatever it's called, and his inner calling is he gets like this armor shield thing and he can have like two batons and it takes hits like Black Panther and he can put that into energy. Man, that is lame as f All the, the Sub-Zero with the, all the ice abilities was super sick. Kano, when he gets his laser eye, was kind of really expected. Kind of saw that building up. Uh, Shang Tsung was really cool. I definitely like Shang Tsung in the older com uh, Mortal Kombat movie, uh, just a little bit, but I thought the Shang Tsung was fine. I thought the casting of Raiden was a little weird. I really like when Sub-Zero is walking, the environment changes around him, like it'll start snowing, there's like frost on the windows, like gives a really horror vibe to it. I dug that completely. I want to see a whole lot more of Sub-Zero. And I'm sure we'll get more Sub-Zero. You know, Sub-Zero is killed at the end, but no one's ever really dead in Mortal Kombat. People are brought back. Sub-Zero in the games has like a brother who becomes the next Sub-Zero, so we'll get more Sub-Zero. Talking about the, the brutalness of the fights, you know, the fatalities like Kung Lao with his hat, he puts a saw blade in the ground and he splits. I don't think she's a Mortal Kombat character. No, I don't think she is, but it splits her right in half of that. That was really cool. Uh, also, Kung Lao gets... Kung Lao dies, and that made me a little sad because I really dug Kung Lao. Also, I love the design of Cabal. I think Cabal's design was really cool. Uh, I think I genuinely kind of like it more than it is in the games. It really reminds me of like Predator and stuff to it, so I really dug it. I thought Melina was pretty cool. There's nothing really much special to her. Uh, she had maybe three lines, I think. Probably, yeah, probably about three lines. And, and, and also the thing is you can't really get too attached to these characters because they're killed off pretty fast. But it's a Mortal Kombat movie, so it's really understandable because that is the whole premise of it and maybe a little sad but also I'm pretty positive if they do have sequels these characters are going to come back because that it always happens in Mortal Kombat so another thing is I want to see how this series interprets other future characters if they do have sequels I would really like to see Irmac I like to see he's one of my favorites I want to see how they would interpret him uh, I want to see how they do any of these characters uh, that we haven't seen yet because I like most of their designs except Cole's Oof, I really did not like Holes. I thought Jax, Jax is Jax, you know, his design is not to be too intricate or amazing. And I know they're setting up for Johnny Cage, which a lot of people want Ryan Reynolds uh, casted as, or Chris Pratt. I think that would be fine. I think casting an actual, very famous Hollywood actor would really add to the the persona of Johnny Cage in, in the next movie or so. So I think, uh, I think that'd be a really fun idea to, to cast a really famous actor. Uh, for Johnny Cage. It's sad to say that it's really hard for me to pick things to talk about because I watched this movie twice. I watched it a couple days after it came out and then I watched it again with my girlfriend because she hasn't seen it yet. And I'm really struggling to find things to say about it. So if that show, if that goes to show, there's not a lot going on, if I'm being honest. So if you want to watch it, it's free for, on HBO Max. You know, for a free movie, not bad. Okay, at least they're not doing the Disney Plus thing where they're making you pay 30 bucks. Oh man, if I pay 30 bucks for this, this would be like a one, just because of that. But since I watch it for free, yeah, I give it a four or five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a four. It's fine. No, four is like, yeah, yeah, four. It's like it's fine. You know, nothing, nothing groundbreaking. It, no, it's not fine. No, it's fine. I don't know. I'm really. I watched this movie twice and I'm still just like, this movie at baseline, it's a four. It gave me what I thought it was going to give me, so I guess I can't complain there whatsoever. Any of you, if you like this review, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. And uh, my short film Aftermath is coming out at the end of the month. I'm very excited for it. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.